My friends, no one not in my situation can appreciate my feeling of sadness at this parting. February 12th marks the 200th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. It's a busy time for Lincoln impersonators. Fritz Klein is one of them. He's at Springfield's Great Western Depot, delivering the address Lincoln gave as he left for the White House in February 1861. Trusting in him, who can go with me and remain with you and be everywhere for good, let us confidently hope that all will yet be well. Are we all right? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't really attempt to distinguish myself from the other guys in, in any sense. I, in fact, I, I actually try to not um, pay any attention to what the others are doing. I, I've never watched any of their programs because I want to be original. I just try to do the very best I can. Try to the window. Test. Test. So if you can uh, we're doing lighter sound at the moment. <laughs> um, From here I go to Decatur, and then I go up to Chicago for the rest of the week, and I'll be in uh, uh, Wabunzi College on Saturday, a synagogue on Sunday, back in another school in Chicago on Monday, and in Peoria on Tuesday, and uh, Springfield on Wednesday. Usually, Klein does about 250 performances a year, many of them at schools. I was, I was involved in landscaping, and I was involved in an annual pageant about old Hawaii in the community. And so one of the role I played was a character in the 1820s that had a long coat and top hat. And so they, fed, they said, you could do Lincoln. I didn't think I could, but okay. I could. He explores various aspects of Lincoln's legacy, like slavery, how Lincoln rose from poverty, and how he got the nickname Honest Abe. You know what? They started putting it in the newspapers. Why? People clean out in California were reading about how I was telling the truth. That's how I finally got elected to be president. He tries to convey Lincoln's core values, like integrity, equality, and hard work. You can be a good worker. You can make yourself study. You can show up on time when you're supposed to be somewhere. There's lots of things you can do. And you know what? That's what makes a difference, the things you can do. People would write phonetically the way he sounded, like, like they would say he had a nasal quality to his voice. It was a higher pitch. Uh, um, he would pronounce chair, cheer. He'd say over there instead of over there. Fur instead of for. And it was very corny and, and a little grating. Uh, his voice had kind of a, a trumpet quality to it. Um, when people, it was a little blatting sounding, you know. And so I incorporate some of those things into, into my, my speech patterns. But they're, they're things that were written down. I try to bring out the highlights, you know. To his care commending you. As I trust in your prayers, you will commend me. I bid you an affectionate farewell. <laughs>